Despite criticisms that it's been too light a sentence, former Detroit Councilman Gabe Leland won't be going to prison after pleading guilty to taking improper campaign contributions. Today, a judge sentenced Leland to two and a half years probation. Grant Herms following the sentencing, and Grant, the judge uh, did try to make it clear that he doesn't believe that this is a slap on the wrist, which some have suggested. Yeah, he does not believe that. In fact, he, he made a whole point to say that he thinks that his sentence was serious enough. He wanted to show how serious he thought it was that Leland broke the public's trust. And with that sentence today, it ends a three-year-long saga of yet another corruption case here at City Council. Former Detroit Councilman Gabe Leland back in court, learning his fate. What we're here for is that Mr. Leland foolishly decided to accept a campaign contribution in cash, which is contrary to Michigan law. The judge sentencing Leland to two and a half years probation after he pleaded guilty in May to misconduct while in office for agreeing to take $15,000 in campaign donations and free car repairs in exchange for his vote back in 2017. Leland's attorney saying there had been an agreement made asking Leland only serve one year of unmonitored probation. The judge today felt differently. The recommendations for five years probation, I think that one year probation uh, would be a mere slap on the hands and violate the people's trust. Leland also apologized, echoing his remarks during his first court appearance after formally resigning his seat on the city council. You know, the importance of helping, helping people, and, and I did that uh, as it relates to my constituents for many, many years, um, and did a lot of good for a lot of people along the way, and, and uh, unfortunately, I, I crossed the line. Uh, and uh, again, I apologize to uh, to my family, to to my constituents, and to the citizens of the city of Detroit. But now is the time to to reinvent myself and press the reset button. I look forward to uh, you know whatever I choose to do uh, in my career. Uh, I, I have my whole life ahead of me. And Leland was also facing several federal bribery charges. Devin, the prosecutor said today that those charges, because of his plea deal, will be dropped. And now, Grant, the, uh, the rest of the council needs to figure out his seat, right? They, they do. They only had 60 days from when he first resigned. That was back on May 3rd. So that means they only have until July 3rd. There are six candidates running for his seat right now. And there's been some talk of maybe just keeping his seat vacant until the November election. But... We'll have to wait and see what the council decides. Yeah. All right, Grant.